beyond the balance sheets, a family office, family fund is the curator of family's values, preserving heritage and fostering a sense of purpose in the journey of wealth for the family. Gift City, as you may well be aware of, is fast emerging as a local hub for asset management. It's providing avenues not just to domestic and offshore asset managers for inbound investments, but it also acts as a gateway to Indian families and family offices for structuring their offshore investments. FIFs or Family Investment Funds acts as the pooling vehicle for an Indian single family office for its investment thesis overseas and outside India. FIFs may either be set up as contributory trusts or as LLPs. If it is set up as a trust, then their beneficiaries and the respective beneficial interest should be fixed and identifiable in the trust deed at all times. The regulations also mandate that the, uh, for an FIF, capital should be pooled only from a single family. From a size standpoint, an FIF is required to maintain a minimum corpus of uh, USD 10 million, which needs to be brought in within a period of three years from the date of registration. Now, this begs the question, why FIF as against any other uh, offshore structure? The answer to this lies under the current exchange control regulations, which you know, as of now, it allows Indian individuals up to 250K, which is commonly known as the LRS limit, or companies uh, which are listed companies, only these two can invest outside India in a, a fund which is non-gift city based. For gift city based funds, this has been significantly relaxed to include not just listed companies and individuals, but also unlisted companies, registered partnerships, LLPs, which can invest almost up to 50% of their net worth in a gift city based fund. From an investment standpoint, FIFs are allowed significant flexibility to design their investment thesis and make investments across different asset classes, which could include listed, unlisted securities, derivatives, offshore funds, both retail, non-retail, and also physical assets, which could be a very interesting uh, aspect for several families which could invest in real estate, bullion, uh, choicest art from uh, different geographies and different uh, masterminds. Uh, FIFs have to bear in mind that uh, FIFs can only make investments and not strategic acquisitions. That's something which families need to bear in mind while structuring and set up, setting up FIFs. FIFs are also, of course, allowed to uh, use leverage basis their uh, investment thesis. From a law and legal standpoint, it is worth mentioning that your uh, FIF is not just a financial entity. It is really going to be an architect of your family's legacy, building bridges between uh, different generations and really expanding the footprint of the family's uh, investments across the globe. As you may well be aware, there is already a large family office which has received the first approval. And we can very, very confidently state that in the near future, Gift City is going to become one of the largest hubs for Indian family offices looking to diversify their asset base globally. Thank you so much.